watching The Bold Report. Good day, this is Your Bold Report. I'm DK Bold, and this is your Wall Street Journal update for today. Now looking at the front page of the Wall Street Journal, markets swoon on fears. Now this unfortunately is going to be a theme throughout today's report, but the market is kind of going crazy. Investors around the world are scrambling to safe havens on fears of a global economic slowdown. U.S. trade deficits are widened and market sentiment has, has really soured. Investors are they're on the edge as money, money is shifting rapidly. And this, this article and this actual uh, news story is actually going to be repeated once again a little bit later on. So I'll leave it at that. Let's move on to the next next topic. Illegal immigrants estimated to account for one in 12 U.S. births. Now, this is a somewhat troubling area, and you can talk politics all you want, but this is an interesting play in how this is going to work out for everyone. Undocumented immigrants account make up more than 4% of U.S. births, or I'm sorry, 4% of the U.S. adult population. Now, the babies make up twice that share at 8% of all U.S. births. There is, uh, there is some growing support in the, uh, in the legisl legislature that they're reconsidering the 14th Amendment that allows basically any baby born in the United States to be a U.S. citizen. So, this will be an interesting one to play out and could have enormous effects all around. Moving on to the marketplace. In uh, the marketplace, Cisco sounded off with uh, good news, but yet fears. And again, a common theme throughout all of the news that we're seeing out of the Wall Street Journal. Cisco provided more evidence that the corporate technology spending is up, but corporate results keep investors jittery. They had a 79% surge in profit and revenues rose 27%. Yet, they did not meet expectation, and as such, still seeing some economic uncertainty and caution among its customers. So basically things, while were a bit rosy in the short term, the long term is still very cautious and very uncertain. Now here's one I wanna ask a question on. Have you noticed, I don't know if you go to the grocery store, I do as a internet marketer and uh, someone that's home, I go to the grocery store and I shop. And I have noticed that prices are going up. Have you? Well, now it's confirmed food makers are chewing or chew over prices. Nestle has joined a growing list of food companies that are warning of higher prices, especially for tea and cocoa. Now these higher costs and lower demands, they hurt Nestle and other consumer good companies and these companies are being more cautious about their future outlooks, especially over the next two quarters. So definitely something to watch manage your budget on as you look for looking through the aisles at the grocery store. Finally, in our last section, money and investing. Now I told you this would repeat, and sure enough, it comes right back around. Dow loses grip on year's gains. Now this is again a repeat of basically the front page story, unsettling data and central bank messages from everywhere push global, global fears. There is a running sentiment of fear out there, which is very unfortunate. Blue chip stocks posted their worst daily uh, decline. Poor economic data showed China's economy is weaker than had hoped. and. Concerns are not in just the U.S., but in all parts of the world. So for you and for your business, it is one of caution. Um, I, like others, there seems to be some good things in gold. Definitely a place to consider. And look out for your business. Stay focused on what makes sales and stay focused on being the best you can for your customers. Well, that completes our Wall Street Journal update for today. Until next time, find your passions, take care, and have a great day.